Development Commission strengthens the lives of children and youth by providing high quality programs and services and by strengthening the skills of those who serve children and youth. One of the programs that we offer is our Youth Employment Solutions Program or the YES program. And for this program we serve as the year-round Youth Employment and Training Coordinator for the Detroit Workforce Development Department. We offer year-round training and employment opportunities for young people that are engaged in the program. In the summer, we serve about 1,000 youth with work experiences. They get experiences at businesses, nonprofit organizations, restaurants, um, a whole diverse range of experiences that they can get for six weeks paid employment during the summer. We offer several special events for the young people, including a career expo which is an event um, that we bring in business professionals, entrepreneurs, anyone that has an enriching and enlightening experience that they can share with the young people and help expose them to opportunities they may not have considered before for themselves. For more information about the Youth Development Commission or the Youth Employment Solutions Program, you can be reached by telephone at 313-963-8916 or you can visit us at our website, www.ydcdetroit.org. Make every client feel like they're the most important client that you have, and you do that by being accessible to them, by communicating with them on a regular basis, by showing interest, and concern about the legal matter. And that's whether it's the smallest, you know, a will, I mean something rather small, or a major client who's a national or international company. They all, everybody wants to feel important and they deserve it. The one thing I want to tell you is that you should live your dreams. Things that will separate you and the other people in this room or what you bring to this table and what you bring to your employer. What are your goals? What are your dreams? Who can hear you? To be a lawyer. Be a lawyer? And a resident nurse. A resident nurse, okay. Now what are you doing to make that dream come true? Nothing now. Nothing now? Well, we've got some lawyers in this room. One is right across at that table. His name is Mr. White Phillips. He's an attorney brother of mine. Talk to him. Talk to other lawyers. Understand what that profession is. If you can, get a job, internship, work in that, even if it's just in the office, not even practicing law, but get into the environment you want to be in. What are you doing? Um, at my school, I am doing a registered nurse class in my classroom. At my school, we switch schools, we go to Utica for registered nurse. Okay, I think, I think that's important. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Most people in this room, including yourselves, what your dreams are today will not be the same five years from now. Everybody in this room will probably have more than one career. Some will be by choice and some will be the employer's choice. But what you need to be able to do is develop good work habits. Develop good work habits, good study habits, good personal habits. Those are the things that will distinguish you from others in this room. Whatever education you have is represented well, very well and your experience that you're indicating. Because we're looking at all those factors. We're looking at education, experience, and we're looking at your writing skills, how you respond to the assessment questionnaire when you're applying for jobs. And the person that has the best presentation for themselves you know, when they're applying for the job, those are the persons that will refer to the different types of jobs that we have within our agency. Medical field? Law. Law? Lawyer? Mm -hmm. My uh, assistant in law is a lawyer. She's an attorney. She, uh, she's an attorney and she has uh, an MBA. So she's head of uh, human resources for McLaren Health Systems. So it's a lot of, it's a, that's a good field to go into.